In this video, we're looking at Ubuntu Touch on a OnePlus 6T. It's different from the OnePlus 6, though the software is pretty much identical. While testing the device, I discovered this new feature, the double tap to wake. After some further research, it seems that Alfred from the UbiPorts community has been working on this and it is quite a major feature to be adding to the Ubuntu Touch devices. So the OnePlus 6T has a similar issue with the OnePlus 6. These rounded edges and the notch at the top make it quite awkward to use, although it doesn't really hinder the use at all. It is kind of annoying. Since the OnePlus 6 is pretty much the same device, I'm not going to review all the features as I've already done that in the OnePlus 6 video. But I do want to point out a few other things. So since this is a fully fledged Ubuntu device, it does have a working terminal. So this allows you to give standard GNU slash Linux terminal commands as you would on an Ubuntu desktop terminal. This is totally a unique feature of running Ubuntu over another operating system on mobile. Wi-Fi works just as expected and without any of those old bugs. The camera is working for pictures, video, and the front-facing camera. Pretty much all of the features that the OnePlus 6 have are working on the OnePlus 6T. Flashlight, for example, and the settings. However, some of the security settings on this device that might be on Android are not here. That is notably the fingerprint reader, which is not physical on the device anyway. A newer feature that's brought to the Morph browser is video chat capabilities. For example, Jitsi Meet can be used right from the browser and you can do video chat through Morph itself. Finally, I'd like to point out some of the important apps again. We have the Axolotl, Fluffy Chat, and Deco2, which is a mail client. For your email purposes, you can add a Google account, Yahoo, or even your own IMAP servers according to your email needs.
teleports is the Telegram app, which will be useful for accessing a lot of the UbiPorts community chats. So overall, this isn't one of my favorite devices, generally speaking, but it does work quite well with Ubuntu Touch, except for those odd edge features. Thanks again for watching and remember to subscribe.